Thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the Gospel of John, John chapter 2, where in verses 13 to 22, we have the account of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as he goes into the temple and he sees how his father's house has become a place of merchandise. Money is being made, animals are being sold. And Christ told us in Matthew chapter 21, verse 13, that my father's house should be a house of prayer. Today, I wanted to speak about the church as the Bible says it, what the church is. In the New Testament, the word church means ecclesia, basically means the called out ones of God. The church is not so much a building. In the book of Acts chapter two, we see that the apostles were meeting in people's houses and they were breaking bread, they were praying, they were fellowshipping, and they were listening to the teachings of the apostles, as we read in verse 42 of Acts chapter 2. As I said before, the temple, as people saw it, was a building, and that's true. And a church, yes, when I was a kid, we were told to go to church. And the church was a building. It was a place where there were stained glass windows, marble floors, statues. But the church truly is us. We are the temple of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20 tells us that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we are to honor our bodies as unto the Lord because we were purchased with a price. And that price that we were purchased with was the blood of Jesus Christ. We are to meet with each other. As two or three people come together, that is a church. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25 tells us to not neglect the gathering of the saints, the gathering together, as many will do, especially as the day of Christ draws near. Today, churches are very, very low in attendance. I talk with Christian friends around the country that I know, and basically because of the coronavirus and this outbreak, this pandemic, but it was happening even before this pandemic. Many people felt no need to go to church to be with other Christians. With the dawn and the advent of social media, and there's nothing wrong with sharing the Word of God out on social media as I do, but this is not to be a substitute for the church. The church is when people get together and get intimately known to each other. Coloss uh, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 10 tells us that the wisdom of God should be told out in the church. I believe that's speaking about sharing God's Word. God's Word is our wisdom. We're told in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, that all scriptures God breathe. In Revelation chapter 22, verses 18 and 19, we're told not to take anything away from the word of God or add to it. The Bible is the wisdom of God and it should be expounded in the, in the church faithfully, true, truly. The Bible warns us, though, in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 3 and 4, that in the last days, as Christ's return becomes closer and closer, which I truly believe we're living in. We don't know the day or the hour. People are gonna have itchy ears or tickly ears. They're gonna to wanna to hear things that, that don't convict them. They wanna to hear things that are gonna appease them, make them feel good. We have social justice gospels today. We have name it and claim it, prosperity gospels today, all over the place. That is not the gospel. That is not the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God is we're told in 1 Corinthians chapter one, verses 29 to 31, is Jesus Christ. He is the wisdom of God. He is the living word of God. We have the written word of God and we have the living word of God, which is Christ. Jesus told us himself in John chapter five, verse 39, search the scriptures for they testify of me. My brothers and sisters, the church, we as followers of Christ, we are the church. It's not so much a building, it's us. We are the temple of God. And we are told in Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20, as part of the commission that Christ commands us, it's not a choice, it's a command. We are to go out and tell others. That's when we're fulfilling the role of the church, by telling others about Christ. Sadly, at times when we get together for evangelism in churches, we try to point people to go to church, a building where we go to, and we should. But first and foremost, what you need to do is point them to Jesus Christ. Get to know the people that you're talking with. Develop some kind of relationship. Get to know where they're struggling at. You know, true religion 
James chapter 1, verse 27 says, is to visit the widows and orphans in their time of distress and keeping ourselves undefiled from the things of this world. People today say when someone is religious, it's because they go to church, they go to a building. That, that is the way the world thinks. The Bible tells us that true religion is helping those that are in need. Oftentimes the church becomes a place of complacency, comfortable, we eat downstairs, we leave. Um, sometimes it's very strict and it becomes like a law, a, a courtroom. But the church should be a hospital. The church should be a place where people come to get healed. Not so much physically, but spiritually. We are to bind up the wounds of others by, as it says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15, speaking the truth in love. That is what we do as Christians, my brothers and sisters. That is why the church grew so much in the first century. And you read in the book of Acts, you hear when Peter's preached, 3,000 were saved, 5,000 were saved. There was mass revival. And when there's been revival in this country here in America, especially in the 18th century, under people like George Whitfield, the preaching of the Word of God was faithful and true, but there was also an outpouring of love and compassion for those that were hurting. And I hope today's devotional video, my brothers and sisters, will help us all to understand the purpose and the reason for why we are who we are the church those that are in christ the set apart ones of god the holy ones to be apart from the things of this world and to draw closer to christ will know that our role is and our responsibility as christians in the church as the church is not so much to make money it's not so much to gather numbers of people in a building it is to draw people to jesus christ the way we do that is speaking the truth in love but also having a heart of compassion. I'll end with this. Galatians chapter 6, verse 2 says, Carry the burdens of others so as to fulfill the law of Christ. Do you truly want to be seen as one who's following Christ? Help carry the burdens of others. Don't just preach the word, talk the word, but walk the word. God bless you all today, my brothers and sisters. And as always, stay strong in the Lord and the power of his might. As part of the church, not a building, but as set apart ones of God, let us be faithful to Christ in our witness for him in this world today. Take care. God bless you all.